it's not something that I'm gonna kill myself for, you know. I can't come and give myself for. <laughs> hello, hello, darlings. Welcome to Edwige Alon Mode, where I share all things fabulous. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Edwige. I love fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. In today's video, I will be talking you through my 2023 wish list. I do these videos yearly as a guide, as an inspiration as something to work towards. I know that luxury item isn't everything and it certainly isn't the most important thing in life, but you know, I would like to think that everyone that follows me enjoys some sort of luxury in their lives. And I personally love to um, reward myself with luxury items, if you like, whenever I achieve something big, I like to um, celebrate even small wins, um, even if it means taking myself out and going to a spa day, going to a restaurant or um, buying myself a fragrance or buying myself something, you know? I just think it's great um, to encourage yourself it's a great way to encourage yourself, basically. Um, yeah, I'd also love to know what you have on your list for 2023. Without no further ado, let's get into it. Oh, before we get into it, actually, if you're not following me on Instagram, babe, what are you waiting for? What, where have you been? What are you doing with yourself? <laughs> I'm joking. Please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, where I share all things fabulous. I would love to have you as part of the Adrige Alamode family. Also, subscribe, subscribe, because we are trying to grow this following. Please, let's get 100k. Let's hit 100k, guys. Please, share with your friends. Tell them there's this girl, Adrige, that you love. No, listen. <laughs> my list is actually pretty short. I have my phone here. To be honest with you, I've already ticked off two items off my 2023 list. Um, one which you saw uh, is the Christian Louboutin uh, So Me, I will um, put it here. And also J'adore Dior um, Slingbacks, which I haven't unboxed for you yet, I'm sorry. It's just been sitting in my house. Usually my sister does this thing where she buys things, She's like, yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing. And three months later, like she still hasn't done it. And I'm usually like telling her, you need to unbox this. And babe, to be honest with you, I've been doing the same thing. This shoe, the poor shoes has been sitting in my house for about a month. I haven't even touched it. Anyway, I'm gonna do a separate video about that. Um, but I will show you just to, do you know what I mean? So it's a classic, um, what, what did I say? It's a J'adore Dior classic slingback pumps that's gonna come up soon but i'll show you anyway and the reason why i love this shoe is because it's such a classic i feel like um every woman needs a stylish shoe like this because it's so easy to wear from uh, day to night i had an issue with the painted leather and the material i ended up well i'm not gonna tell you which one i got just yet i'll tell you in the unboxing I'll keep some um, surprise there. I love this shoe. I just think it's super gorgeous, really easy to elevate. So the next item on my list for 2023 is a Saint Laurent Sac du Jour. I feel like I've wanted this bag for so long. Now the issue is that I cannot find the color that I want. So now I'm in between two minds. I'm thinking to maybe go for the black. My sister has the black. I'm thinking to go for the classic black with the gold hardware or the green. Now the green is quite hard to find. I don't really have colored bags. So hence why I wanted to have a nice bright colored bag this summer. And Sac de Jour for me is a classic bag that every woman needs, especially if you're starting up. I feel like it's a great classic. Um, it will always be a classic. And I love that the style of it is pretty similar to your Hermes Birkin. So it kind of has that feel and vibe. Looks super expensive because it is. <laughs> um, just it's an elevated bag, can be used for every day. I do want the, is it the Nano? Is it Baby? I'm not sure, but it's the small size. So maybe it's the Baby. Just because they're so easy to um, wear from day to night. And another item that I want this year is a Louis Vuitton cosmetic bag. Now, I have been wanting this for ages as well. And I've watched so many reviews on here. The girls are loving it. And they say that it's super spacious, especially great for traveling. And when traveling, I feel like I'm always... Um, I'm always struggling with packing my cosmetics, my makeup and stuff like that. So it would be nice to have a, um, a Louis Vuitton 
um cosmetic bag to have my makeup especially for like sleepovers or for um weekend aways and stuff like that i think it'll be such a great addition to add and you guys know how much i love the louis vuitton traveling um sets i definitely do want a suitcase but that's something that i'm not going to get now and um, i want a complete louis vuitton set i want the suitcase i want the makeup bag i have the um cosmetic bag already but it's more like a clutch um so, but i want the actual makeup bag i also want the what else do i want from louis vuitton I think that's it to be honest yeah my next big purchase from Louis Vuitton would definitely be a suitcase because I do have the key port 45 as well and I do have the um the speedy 35 I think I can't remember and another thing that I want is the all round sandals now I have been debating on which color to get again so I wanted to buy the white ones last year my sisters were like no that there's so many fakes <laughs> everybody's wearing fakes of the whites don't get them don't get them but and i was like okay cool so i might get the green or i might get the orange my sister and i have been looking for the orange for a long time we can't find it so i was like okay cool i might get the yellow the blue but i'm more of a classic babe you know and when it comes to sandals i like classic colors so hence why i want to go for the white because i feel like white is so easy to elevate you could throw on like an orange bag or a green bag it would make more sense and um, for me because my style is more classic i think i would definitely go for the whites um yeah and i've seen so many top babes wearing the whites i'm like <laughs> we need to get the whites i do like the chunky ones but i have this complex about my feet i have big feet for a small girl like i'm five foot three and i wear a size 39 and a half 40 which is you know relatively quite big i should really be like a size 37 which is a four or a five my sister's a size five i should be like a five but i don't know my feet is just huge so i'm quite complex about getting really thick things like heavy bulky things because i feel like it makes my feet look bigger um but i do like the chunky hermes and they're more cheaper so i need to actually go and try them on and see the next thing that i want is the um givenchy shark lock boots this is my dream boots i have had this on my wish list for the longest time i remember once my sister and i went to vista village and we saw the shark boots that it was in a green color and they have like a size seven which was huge um but i was so close to buying it just because and it was so much cheaper than what it is now it was like 800 pounds and um but obviously i can't do you know what i mean i can't get the shoe taken in <laughs> so i was like i'm just not gonna get them um but it's something that i definitely want i have so many outfits for it um i've been in love with this since like the kim k days like when kim k was rocking it left right and center so i think you know this year i really need to consider it and lastly on my list i have the chanel studs now i almost purchased this last month but it was the wrong size they were too big i do want the smaller ones i feel like those are a lot more classy and can be worn for like evenings and such where the bigger ones i find them to be a little bit more um for daytime and i like dainty things you know things that are a lot more smaller and to be honest with you these were quite expensive they were quite expensive so did i say lastly no i lied i have one more item on my list um yeah the ones i tried last time were like 500 pounds so i decided to go for the shoes instead because 500 pounds a lot of money for studs which i'm probably not going to wear because they were too big um although the smaller ones probably will be about that price as well so um i just do want it in smaller in size but lastly on my list is the chanel classic flap now with the price increase i just don't know but one thing i know for sure is that i wouldn't buy it from the store because i don't um the quality is not the same guys you know compared to like your vintage so i would definitely get it um pre-loved because the quality is much better where the quality now doesn't even match the price point so i don't see a point to buy it from the store um if i don't find a classic flat i would probably get like a, a smaller um style but i'm not sure as long as i get myself a chanel bag because it's something that i've wanted for a long time it's my dream bag um like i said i'm not crazy about your air mares and stuff like that 
if Hermes was gifted to me, like I always say, I would jump and receive the gift. But myself, it's just not something that, like, I'm not crazy about it. Maybe in the future, I would definitely, you know, get one because it's a classic. But right now, it's not something that I'm going to kill myself for, you know. I can't come and give myself for. <laughs> so definitely a Chanel classic flat. I feel like, I feel like every top babe needs a Chanel classic flat. But no pressure okay no pressure because you know i'm a top babe i don't have it yet okay so we are working towards it which is fine I just i couldn't think of anything else on top of my head of like what i would really want i think these are the you know the things that i really really want this year so we're keeping it simple um achievable you know um i may i may not get everything on my list but we leave it all to god we see what happens in 2023 so thank you my babes that was everything from this um video nice and short i hope you enjoy it let me know what's on your wish list for 2023 i would love to know did i have anything on my list that you want also and yeah comment down below let me know follow me on instagram tiktok where i share all things fabulous thank you so much for watching until the end i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.